What's going on, boys? It's your boy, Dev, back on Colts franchise. And we are in week seven against the Cleveland Browns with a breakout running back challenge. Yes, Jonathan Taylor, who this should be for, has a chance to be superstar X Factor after dominating in back-to-back -back games where he had almost 200 yards. So let's take a look at it and see if our stud running back is going to be an X Factor. Yes, sir. It's Jonathan Taylor. Get him four plus touchdowns or 200 yards rushing and receiving this week against the Cleveland defense. I think we can do it. We've been dominant on the ground. We're going to get him in the end zone. Let's go, baby. That is our main priority. He is 24 years old. Getting him superstar X Factor would be everything. That would, that would be huge. He's going to get even more abilities. So, that being said, let's get into weekly strategy. This is a good Cleveland team. We are going to have our hands full defending them. And I think defending the deep pass when they have 113 passer rating is going to be essential. We want to run the football. We want to stay away from Miles Garrett. They're saying run outside, which it looks like they're really poor against outside attempts. But they're also really, really bad against inside attempts. So we're going to go we're going to go inside just because I feel like we want to run away from the edge threats which is Miles Garrett. So we are going to run inside. And just like we do every week, we are going to do pass skeleton. No. We're going to do option attack. We're trying something new this week because we want to keep the ball on the ground. We're reading the D end, keep giving it to Taylor. He's got space. Easy touchdown. Let's go. Taylor gets the ball. And he, dude, he's just too fast for these Colts defenders in practice. We've got to get in the end zone. Taylor couldn't get in, and we get silver. I feel like we crushed that, but whatever. Let's get our weekly game plan goals going. So we've got to get rushing yards we 200 plus rushing yards is going to be our goal because we can either try and get him in the end zone four times or run the ball and i feel like we just want to pound the rock we're gonna allow 24 or less points hopefully we can do that again Did we do that last week i can't remember 350 we're gonna do 350 we've been doing that and then win the turn turnover battle just no we're not going to throw picks. We're not going to fumble the football. We need to continue this win streak. We've got two wins in a row. Can we make it three? We beat the Titans in game of the year. We beat the Jaguars. Now it's time to beat this 86 overall team in the Cleveland Browns. They are only two and three. We have a better record. And we are actually in first place in the AFC South. I am just seeing this now. We are three and three. Tie beater with the Jaguars apparently. And we are in first place in the driver's seat we've got upgrades let's do them jojo Deman. look at Deman. <laughs> they're just gonna get auto upgraded they're just depth players they're 60 overalls nothing to write home about nothing's changed for scouting okay so without further ado boys let's get into the game week seven against the cleveland browns jonathan taylor 200 yards or four touchdowns he's got to have a big week that is our main focus Yes, we want to win the football game, but getting Taylor X-Factor could be major for his career. And Gay's going to kick it off, and we are underway in Week 7. Peoples-Jones back to return, and he's not going to make it up to the 20. Maybe thinking he shouldn't have taken it out of the end zone. They can run all day. I'll let them run. They're not passing the football on us. Buckner's there, and that's why we get our DBs in the box because bu the buck in the backfield. All right. EJ Speed. Oh, and they've got a receiver in Moore. Elijah Moore hoping to resurrect his career in, in Cleveland, and he starts it out with the first catch of the game against us. Okay. This is going to be a big run. Oh, good just good shed by Quiddy Pay, and Chubb just kind of runs into him. It's going to be a loss of two. Hoping Quiddy Pay can kind of 
step up. We are probably looking to pick up his fifth year. And Chubb just not finding any room to run. Three rushes for negative three yards. And we are having them in third and 12 on the opening drive of the game. We're going to bring Cross down. Cisco playing the flat. Get there. Huge knockout. Julius Brents. If only he could have done that <laughs> in his breakout game. But man, huge. Huge pass up breakup by the rookie. And it's going to be 4th and 12. The Browns are going to punt. Doolin back to receive. Gets about 5 yards. He's just the most average NFL player of all time. Ashton Doolin. Okay. And here's where Taylor's historic game begins. We need him to be dominant. We will pound the rock. We will give him as many carries as needed to get X Factor, baby. And we know when he, last two games, he's gone crazy. Last two games, we've won the football game. So we think that giving carries to Jonathan Taylor can help us win this game. It's a win-win. Here we go. We're going counter. Just Don, Michael Pittman doesn't always block. And because of that, we can't make the other guy miss. Maybe I'm just playing the blame game, but... Taylor's going to take this up the middle. Got room. Just got to be better. I can't. We're going to have to pass this. I'm going to pass the football here. No, we're going to run it. We're going to pound the rock. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. They, they, they send everyone. Oh, my God. We should have passed it. We can't. That was so stupid. In our own half. Okay, really poor decision. Tackle by by Tony Brown. Okay, Thomas, cover up that seam. I'm underneath. Out of bounds. Tony Brown was there. Thought we might have a chance at an interception there. We play four quarters. This is probably a run. Let's see if the Buck can get in. It's, it's play action. Big tackle by Thomas. Not falling for it. And it's going to be third and six. If we could hold them, would be huge. I'm sending the blitz. I'm sending pressure. We're going after Watson. The puck. Thought Nick Cross was going to snatch that out of the air. We hold him. Fourth and six. We hold him to a field goal. After a risky fourth down conversion, I'm happy with that. Yes, it's points, but it could have been much, much worse. Sending pressure proves to pay dividends, and we stop him on fourth down. And now, looking to put some points up, we don't want to... We're, we can just get him touchdowns, so we don't need to run the ball every single play, but the it, it's proved to be beneficial to us. What, Dude, I don't have any space. The hole that I need to run through fills immediately. We're going we're gonna to go play action here and look for downs over the middle. That I can't. I have to run it. Look at the left side. Look at the left side. There's nobody over there. Huge run by Taylor. He's got 20 yards already. And we're going PA crossers, baby. If I get a chance to score, I'll go down on the one. I'm giving Taylor the rushing touchdown. But I want to give him a chance. Nope. Just got to be Richardson around the edge. And and Miles Garrett is a freak athlete. He chases me down. I've got 91 speed. Oh, my God. Huge tackle by Garrett came out of nowhere. I thought we were going to get the first down. And we're running the football again. Cutting it outside. And, dude, who is that? JOK? 
The speed differential is frustrating in this game sometimes because Taylor's got 94 speed and he can't beat linebackers to the edge. Like, I don't, that's not realistic. And got downs. What a pass by Richardson on the run. We get throw on the run upgrade last week with him and he shows it with a huge conversion to Josh Downs who has been coming alive since jumping up in the depth chart. We're going to continue to run the football. Got room up the middle. Second and three. We get seven yards. Huge pickup. We go read option here. No. Ooh, press coverage on Pittman. I'm going to look for him to break through that. Got him. No, 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 no. Okay. The ball just took... The safety came over and... I was not expecting the safety to come over. I thought we had one-on-one. -on -one. We didn't. Okay, we are in field goal range, so we don't want to be too aggressive here. But we also don't want... I'm looking for Pierce, actually, on this. Got Woods. Can't moss him. We're going to take our three here. We're going to tie the game up. Okay, not a dominant game so far for Taylor, and I'm not getting worried yet. But we've got to get him in the end zone. We're not able to run the football inside. We've got injuries to defense to offensive linemen. We did sign in free agency a new center, but he's no, he he he's not our normal guy, and we're feeling it. Let's see if we could generate a turnover. Cisco over the middle. Chubb in the open field. Stiff arms. Rodney Thomas to the turf. I mean, what do you expect? It's just a talented running back and a low 70 overall safety. We're actually going to man up Thomas on the tight end there. And I'm using the other side with Cisco. Come on. And they're just picking us apart right now. Gonna run a little bit of man coverage. This gave the Jags trouble last week, so we want to see if we can do the same thing to the Browns. Ooh, Cisco had lights out coverage on Chubb, and the pass goes awry. It's gonna be second and ten, incomplete. Cooper's wide open. Cooper's wide open. This is why we like to run man. I'm, I'm running the... I'm going to blitz him. And this is probably going to be a run. But I'm still blitzing. It's a run. Oh, man. We could be in trouble here. Get the tackle. Okay. Second and five. Five rushes for five yards. We've been really good. Stopping them... Go baseline here. We've got to cover Chubb out of the backfield. Oh, and a huge sack of the balls on the ground. We can't get on it. Njoku somehow sees the football come out, grabs it off the ground, jumps on it, and now it is third and ten. They get lucky. Ooh, and he just... Watson... Having some troubles with his accuracy. The pressure gets there. Oh, man. We're going to blitz. Oh, it's a field goal. Okay. This is a cl what clutch field goal, potentially. We're playing man. We're not getting fooled. He sinks it. And here come the Colts. Going to run a little bit of stretch here. That middle looks more favorable. Up the middle. Oh, Taylor just fighting. Gonna gain 11. Let's go, baby. 9 for 40. And he's having himself a pretty good first half. Don't want to run. They've got Zadari Smith and Garrett, man. That's just a... All right. Throw me a block downs. Huge gain. Broken tackle. Let's go, Taylor. That's what we want to see. Back-to-back -back huge gains for Jonathan Taylor. 
And we're looking for Pittman on this RPO. It's, it's a really bad animation. And Pittman's injured. Our only 80-plus receiver is injured. And, man, that does not look good for us. We don't want to see that. Run the football up the middle. First down. We're running play action. Ashton Doolin is now in. We got Doolin, Downs, and Pierce in the game. Doolin. He just, just doesn't have the talent. And he's got a PCL sprain. You've got to be kidding me. This receiving group is something, leaves something to be desired. Believe Taylor needs 200 total yards, not 200 rush yards. Try a screenplay here. Got him. Throw me a block, please. The linemen are too slow, dude. Will Fries would not throw me a block. Get up field. Jesus Christ, man. And we've got space with Richardson. So much room. I'm going to slide here. RPO here again and look to hand it off to Taylor. See if he can't punch it in. What is that? Why? It's supposed to be an auto handoff. Okay, maybe not. All right, Taylor, punch this in. It's going to go to two-minute warning. And we can't even get the first down. The holes fill immediately. And safety comes out. Taylor fighting, fighting, fighting. He's in. Will Fries pushes him. He gets the extra shove. And Taylor into the end zone. Touchdown. We've got the lead back. He's getting yards. He's got one of four on his way to X Factor. Let's go, baby. And we're up 10 to 6. Huge conversion after, after Will Fries makes up for missing that screenplay block by literally pushing Jonathan Taylor into the end zone. Get the sack. The buck in the backfield brings Deshaun Watson down for a loss. Deshaun having trouble delivering accurate throws. Six for 12. Looking like Anthony Richardson early on in the season. Could Anthony Richardson out, Pat, like, have a better completion percentage? And we, Nick Chubb is injured after Odenigbo power bombs him into the turf. He's going to the locker room. And we're going to get the ball back. 13 for 69. And a touchdown. It's 200 total yards. So if we can involve him in the pass, that's going to make this much easier. Oh, Taylor with a good catch. Turn and run. Gets tackled immediately, though. Anthony Richardson, four for seven. Delivering some good passes. We're going to try and get Taylor involved in the pass game, too. We got him open out of the backfield. Just turn up field, get out of bounds. Another seven yards. We're in field goal range. The field goal would put us up by a touchdown and an extra point, which would feel a lot better than a four point lead. Could have sent Mallory here on a streak. Got Taylor open. Turn up field, buddy. Gonna call a timeout here. Moving the ball well. They're just calling the same plays for me over and over and over and over. We continue. But we're going to send Doolin on a streak and hope that he can get open in the middle. Got Taylor. And we almost threw a pick. we we'll look for Woods over the middle here. There's nowhere to go. Nowhere to go with the football. And... Man, and we get sacked by Miles Garrett. That is not what we wanted to happen. Not what we wanted to happen at all. Going to be looking for Woods here. The 
the big six seven target can't come down with the football and we're gonna have to kick a field goal we do get the ball at halftime okay knock this through the uprights buddy it's gonna be 13-6 our defense showing up deshaun watson having trouble completing passes it's just gonna be a qb kneel and this is going to go to halftime. All right, headed to half. We are up 13-6. to six. We will receive the kick to start the second half and hopefully punch it in for another score. We're going to focus on running outside, actually. And I think that that might give us a better chance to get around and then defend the medium pass, I feel like, has been where we've been getting torched. So we're going to run the ball on the outside, try and get around the edge and get some more yardage for Taylor. We focus on run outside, but I want to see if we could still run inside zone at a decent rate. 56, get there. Taylor's got room. Jukes. And Pierce, we run in, we juke in into Pierce. But huge run. Could have been even bigger. And Taylor having an amazing game again. Get around the edge. Come on, bit. Come on, buddy. Just couldn't get there. Gonna be tackled at the line of scrimmage. It's gonna be an auto handoff, right? He's up the middle. Another big gain. He's got 94 yards. Hand this off again. Let's just get up the middle. No. Didn't mean to do that. But it's okay. Jelani Woods just catches the football thought that was inside zone it was not but it's it's no matter because big jelani woods answers the call and grabs the football he is so reliable all right all right there's dude the the safeties and corners immediately sprint to the line of scrimmage and we're tackled immediately okay we're gonna run play action here and hope that we got taylor Get around the edge. Broken tackles. Four-yard gain. Run no huddle. I like this formation. And I like this play. I like Jelani Wood. We've got Taylor again. He'll get the first down. He doesn't get the first down, man. It's, un it's unreal with the tackles. Catches the ball. Just make a man miss. We can't get the first. This is this is stupid, bro. It is so hard to get a first down with one yard. With one yard, we've got space. Catch the ball and get around the edge. God damn it, dude. Can we get a fumble, please? Can we please get a fumble? Dude, our offense is struggling, man. We have gotten stopped on multiple fourth downs. It's it's not going well. We're not we're not really getting space. We're forcing the ball to Taylor, but we kind of have to. X Factor is a priority, but we still want to win this football game, man. We still want to win this football game. And we have to start playing better on offense. He's not going to get four touchdowns at this point probably, so we're just trying to get total yardage with him. And Cisco right there. Just kind of get blinded by the slants. Good tackle by Blackman. It's probably a run. Fourth, gonna come out in four three. Just have linebackers up in the box. Hope that we can make a tackle here. In the backfield. Oh, we've got Odenigbo. No, that's Ebucam. He's got two sacks. Ebucam in the backfield again. And we're gonna blitz. We're bringing the heat on third down. Let's see what our DBs can do. Get in the backfield. He's just going to run. Get a fumble, man. He gets drilled by the buck and doesn't fumble. He doesn't fumble. He got absolutely lit up. Quarterback in the open field. Oh, my God. And just like that, it's a huge gain for the Browns. We've got to stand. We've got to make a stand here. All right, I'm running a blitz again. I'm I'm blitzing them. I'm blitzing them. My guys are tired. 
Okay, I've got to bring Cross over. He's going to get burned by Chubb if I don't. Okay. Good coverage. Blackman was going to get bodied. But if we don't play coverage, we're going to play hole here. If we don't play coverage, if we don't play man, they'll just find a guy open on a hitch in a zone or something. So. And he caught the football, dude. You've got to be kidding me. That was headed out of bounds. Dude, that's one of the more unbelievable catches I've seen from the CPU. <sighs> Crazy catch by Amari Cooper. Fully covered and just still just catches the football, man. Get him, please. There's no way they're passing the football. They may actually pass the football, but I'm running I'm run committing huge tackles. It's goal line again. It's the Cleveland Browns. They're running this football three times. I've got demand. Demand is in. Huge tackle. Demand is in the backfield. He's the man. Jojo demand. And they're going for it on fourth and goal. Oh, this could be huge. This could be huge to get a stop here. We're going to play man coverage. We're headed into the fourth quarter. And, and Cisco, we stopped him. Cisco gets stiff-armed. It doesn't matter. We've got other guys in there to make the tackle. We stop him. On fourth, they run the ball four consecutive times inside the three, and we stopped him. Huge plays. And now we've got to get out of our own end zone. We cannot get a safety here. We're going to pound it right up the middle with, with Taylor. Just get out of our end zone. We do. We were one away. We almost broke that. We almost broke that. I'm going to go power O here. And just try and break something. And we can't get a block. That was dumb. That was so dumb, dude. Pierce, get open. Got him. Great route by Pierce. Huge conversion. And we, we just need to get Taylor more yards. Got to get more yards. He's got 102. We need yards through the ground, through the air. Right, Taylor could get really open on this Texas route. He's got him. Taylor with space. He fumbled the football. He fumbled the football. You've got to be kidding me. Jonathan Taylor, are you serious? And it's going to be reviewed. It's going to be reviewed. It's overturned. He was already down. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I would have lost my mind. He looked like he was already down after a huge game. And we want to check. How many more yards does he need? He needs 200 total yards. We've got 102 yards rushing with a touchdown. We've got 71 yards receiving. He needs, so 102 plus 71 is 173. He needs 27 more yard, total yards from scrimmage. It's going to get him three yards closer. Going to have to do better than that. We're going to go back to the Texas route. Oh, and Taylor just dropped the football. He j it just bounced off his hands before he was even tackled. It, it, it bounced right out of his hands. That was That's an egregious drop and could cost him superstar X factor. That outside zone here. Just not feeling it, though. We're going verticals. And he dropped the football again. He back-to-back -back drops from Jonathan Taylor, and we're not we're not punting this football. We are not punting this football. I need somebody else to step up. Got downs. Great catch. He hangs on through contact. Oh my God! What a catch. We are playing to win. And Taylor makes up for it with a huge sideline catch, toe drag swag. And we are 
at the 21 in charge and nowhere to go he's got 106 he's got 195 total yards he needs five more yards from scrimmage five more yards from scrimmage i like the look of that run front on the right side 75 is pulling there it is baby there it is and that's going to be 200 yards and he should have it we're going to keep running for good measure set the block keep pushing baby we're inside the four this is a jonathan taylor game we're in the driver's seat folks 333 left in the fourth looking to go up by two scores and around the edge jonathan taylor he's gonna secure this one touchdown let's go baby let's freaking go and we are in the end zone we're going up 20 to 6 we are dominating on defense the browns cannot get the ball in the end zone we haven't allowed a touchdown yet dominant game for jonathan taylor and he should have x factor in the bag let's see if we can generate a turnover here from cisco would be awesome big catch by dpj right in the hole of the zone and that's going to be a conversion they're flipping field immediately and there was cisco and i run past him they're running no huddle here under they need two scores they need two scores and to stop us not out of the question that's it's right to cisco i've got it and i'm going down the sideline make a man miss choke let's go another pick for cisco he had two last week against the jags he gets another one here he has been unbelievable on this colts team the best trade potentially in NFL history. Andre Sisco has been unbelievable. And Taylor, JOK flying into the backfield. We're going to get around the edge here. We're just going to outrun him and stay in bounds. Good job, Taylor. Taylor having himself a monster day. We generate our first turnover of the day. And I want to pass the ball. I want to get other guys involved. And we're going for it with Richardson. Throw me a block. He's got the first. Four for 41 for Richardson. The dual threat monster. And this has been a Taylor game. We're just going to let him secure this one for us. Get around the edge. Jonathan Taylor. Throw a stiff arm. And they're going to call a timeout here. Now do we get cocky? I think we do. Anthony Richardson sees space, touchdown! He's gonna walk in, and this one is all she wrote here at Lucas Oil. And we're gonna win three in a row, boys. Let's go, baby. 27 to six, huge game. We had trouble scoring in the first half, had trouble moving the football. Jonathan Taylor took over. Anthony Richardson delivered when we needed to, and we are dominating in this one let's just finish strong i don't want to allow a touchdown to end the game and cisco lurking over the middle deshaun watson just having a nightmare i mean just a piss poor career so far in oh try to deliver a huge shot with cisco doesn't happen having a piss poor such he's two different people houston deshaun and browns deshaun are just completely different Oh, he's going deep. He's got a man. Oh, my God. Amari Cooper wide open. Deshaun bombs it. And that's the Deshaun Watson we know from Houston. He loves to sling it deep. And the Browns are going to make this one a little bit more respectable. Our hands team hopefully can hold up here and put this one away. Get, get it pierce <laughs> pierce had eyes on the end zone there richardson down the middle of the field go down he is unbelievable 91 speed at quarterback just allows you to do so much and a huge juke from taylor 
try and tackle him, you might have other plans. Looking for Woods in the back of the end zone. And he, he the, the ball bounced off his hands. We give the big fella a shot. He has been silent this game. He has been silent. Had that one big catch, and that's it. And he, he catches that one, though. Touchdown, Jelani Woods. And we're going to score again, and we're going to pile it on to the Browns. This team is starting to come alive. We're feeling good. So you see now why I was so frustrated losing to the Rams by two scores because I know what this team is capable of. Look what they did against the Browns. An 86 overall offense, I believe. And we just shut them down. Outside of that last play, like they haven't done anything. Okay. And now they're just going absolutely insane, apparently. God damn it. All right, we're, we're playing man coverage. And they're just... Apparently, when the game is already over, that's when they start to go in insano mode. And they're just moving the ball at will now. God, this is insane. And the buck is there to get him in the backfield. And it's going to be the last play of the game. We've got Cisco. And that's going to be all she wrote here in Indy. 34-13, your final score. Hitman Jones starting to feel like this squad could do it. Starting out 1-3, we've got three wins in a row, and we're 4-3. Let's take a look at our player stats because we've got a lot to be excited about. Richardson, 15 for 23. 65% um, completion, out-completed Deshaun, and had one touchdown, zero interceptions. It was a game on the ground, and he, he also had a rushing touchdown, but um, no interceptions is good, and had that kind of garbage time touchdown to Jelani Woods. Had to get that in there. Jonathan Taylor had 29 for 151, two touchdowns on the ground. Uh, Nick Chubb, 11 for 14. We absolutely shut the run down. Anthony Richardson also had 6 for 68 and a touchdown. Uh, Watson, 3 for 37. Receiving, Jonathan Taylor, 9 for 89. So he was getting involved. We had to get him involved, and he had three drops, which is terrible. But um, Mari Cooper, 5 for 125 and a touchdown. He went off at the end of there. I think in the fourth quarter, he probably had 75% of his yards um, with that giant, that massive long bomb touchdown reception Jelani Woods two for 20 and a touchdown as well um, and then defensively we didn't throw any picks and Andre Cisco had the interception to kind of clutch the game up for us there at the end huge interception he has been unbelievable and we win this one and with our 200 all-purpose yards for Taylor he should be getting superstar x-factor Tons of rewards. We complete every single one of our staff goals, and we are on our way to seven-plus regular season wins with Josh Downs getting an upgrade point here. Okay, and he's been really good for us. He has been playing really well. He's got 90 speed with 94 excel. 85 catching is good, but his route running just needs to be better. Create separation. We want him to be better at route running, so we are going to put slot he's going to be a slot guy for his career pretty much he's smaller and plus two medium route running plus one short is huge still hidden dev he'll probably be star development up to a 73 though is awesome and let's view our breakout message we want good news be you know why i love playing football because you only get respect when you earn it and coach I'd say I earned it today. And just like that, Jonathan Taylor going up to Superstar X Factor after another dominant game, three in a row for him. He is now a Superstar X Factor player and can use a zone ability. He signed a big contract and he has shown that it was worth it. 10,000 XP for our running back. Should get him an upgrade, I believe. And let's look at our league stats. Jonathan Taylor leading the way in the rushing game. He has 154 carries for 791 yards and nine touchdowns, which is over 150 yards above the next closest 
uh, running back. So Jelani Woods also leading the league in receiving yards at 628 with eight touchdowns, just having an unbelievable season. And then Andre Sisco, the interceptions leader for the league, comes over after week one with us and has seven picks in, in five games, I believe. Week seven. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven picks in six games for Andre Sisco. He has been unbelievable and absolutely worth the trade of Grover Stewart. So, so with that being said, boys, that's going to wrap up week seven. We defeat the Cleveland Browns 34-13. Jonathan Taylor up the superstar X factor, which is huge for us. Week eight, we'll be looking to continue our win streak. Now three in a row with first place in the AFC South under our belts. We hope to take advantage and continue winning. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in week eight against the New Orleans Saints, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.